those of us who have been unlucky enough to be involved in a car accident know the importance of airbag they reduce the level and impact and it's overall damage to your body an airbag is also known as supplementary restraint system srs or supplemental inflatable restraint sir why supplementary because they are designed to assist the seat belts in protecting you not to replace them relying on an airbag without fastening your seat belts can actually be very dangerous as they open up at a speed of around 300 km per hour but how do cars manage to pull off a feat like that the first thing we need to understand is what happens during a crash and for that we need to understand the laws of motion and momentum Simply speaking you get the momentum by multiplying mass with velocity as we know an object in motion will remain in motion unless an outside force acts on it when your car is moving at a particular speed that motion and speed is being shared by everything inside the car including you when the car is stopped by a crash all the loose items inside the car will continue to move at the speed before the crash which is why airbags or seat belts for that matter were invented the goal is to slow the passenger speed of impact with as less damage as possible the idea behind airbag is to have something in between the body and the steering wheel that inflates as soon as the impact is made to do that accelerometer inside the car looks out for sudden changes in the speed of a car it is also important that the airbag deflates on its own quickly if it didn't do that your head would bounce back of it causing injury let's look into it in more detail when a car crashes into something it starts to decelerate very rapidly an accelerometer in a car is an electronic chip that measures speed acceleration and deceleration if it senses a change in speed that is too rapid for normal brakes to generate the accelerometer triggers the airbag circuit the circuit then passes an electrical current through a wire which result in the wire getting heated the heating wire ignites a chemical explosive in earlier airbags sodium azide and potassium nitrate were used which reacted to produce an explosion of nitrogen new airbags use different chemicals to generate either nitrogen or argon the gas floods into a nylon bag resulting in the bag getting inflated faster than a blink of an eye 322 km per hour to be precise a second later the gas escapes through the tiny holes in the airbag as you push against the bag giving you room to move by the time that the car comes to a complete stop the bag should completely deflate the whole process takes only about 125th of a second and the powdery substance that is released with the airbag is corn starch or talcum powder which is put on the bags to keep them flexible and lubricated when in storage and also to help it unwrap smoothly and that is how airbags work As we know airbags bring with them dangers of their own force of an airbag can hurt those who are close to it modern airbags open with less force than earlier designs and it has proved to reduce injury without compromising safety still research has found that the risk zone for driver airbags is the first 2 to 3 inches of inflation So, if you place yourself 10 inches from your steering wheel, you are relatively in a safer position. Guys, please cross check whether your car has airbag or not <laughs> before driving. So make sure that you have airbag. It's very very important for your life. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to suggest any topic, then please suggest in the comment section. We we'll, would definitely love to make something on your suggestion. Will you sing a song? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching this video and please What? <laughs> What? <laughs>